Chapter 10. The rest of the Congress passed in a blur. There were concerts, speeches, balls, banquets, day trips, and performances of various plays. Dr. Zamenhof's own translation of Moliere's Le Marage Force seemed to particularly delight Fraulino Bernfeld, although I found the depiction of the reluctant Chapter 1. I fell in love with Emma Eckstein the moment I saw her from the fourth gallery of the Carl Theater, and this was also the night I met Sigmund Freud. This is Paul Rubin, producer of A Curable Romantic for Highbridge Audio, here with the talented narrator Jeff Woodman, just to ask a couple of questions. Jeff, this book is largely about language and languages, or at least that's an important part of it. Can you talk about, from, from a performance point of view, the challenge that all these languages present? I think probably the greatest challenge here is the vast amount of Esperanto, which is a language that, like most people, I have absolutely no familiarity with. So trying to do that phonetically and still keep the character's intention through what is essentially speaking gibberish to my ear is really, really tricky. Exactly. Um, maybe a few thoughts on the protagonist of the story. And He's tricky because he progresses, I guess it's uh, 20 or 30 years, and he starts off a very naive, innocent young man. Was there ever a more ridiculous figure than I? What woman, other than his own mother, would find such a clown cause for sexual alarm? None. I knew the answer was none, and so I kept my head down and my long nose in my program, hoping to command no more attention than a shadow if I failed to meet another's gaze. And then we get uh, through the end of the book where he's aged and hopefully a little wiser. So it's just, it's... It's a real journey for this character. He, he starts very young and goes through a great deal of his life and many experiences. And it's, it, you're jumping back and forth, so you have to pour, sort of put those layers in and then remove them and then put them back in because we're jumping around in time and it's a long narrative. Uh, speaking of long narrative, we're only about halfway done with the book, so I'll let you save your voice and uh, thank you very much. It's too late for that. That's right. <laughs>